Can I just make one normal sentence? And both of my feet are asleep. Seriously? White girl, white girl, white girl, white girl, 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 girl. So if you're following my Instagram, then you saw me rave about a few new products that I found for people with fair skin. So in this video, I'm just going to be mentioning the products that I've been using on an everyday basis. It's foundation routine that has been working super well for me, and I feel like I finally found my foundation routine, you know what I mean? I feel like I always had this child somewhere, and I didn't know where he was, but I really loved him, and now he's finally here. Was that like socially okay to just compare a foundation routine to a child. This is actually kind of a sentimental moment. This video is kind of like full circle for me because back in the day I actually started watching YouTube because I couldn't find foundation or makeup that matched my neck. So it's kind of weird that like now however many years later I am on the other end, you know? Kind of weird. Eating my cheddar broccoli pasta bowl which is currently on a mirror as a tray since you needed to know that. So I'm going to be making a whole other video with all of my favorite products for fair skinned people but this is just going to be my current routine and at the end of the video there's going to be a demo of how I apply these products. So first off I just wanted to get a little bit deep for a second. I might do a whole other Taylor talks about this because it's something that has really uh, influenced my life when I was younger especially. But we have this kind of societal belief about what is beautiful and what your skin color should be or what you should look like. And it took me a long time to really love my fair skin and be proud of it and own it. And I think a lot of that was that when I started wearing makeup, I couldn't find makeup that actually matched my skin. I went through an orange stage, a vampire stage. I remember being super frustrated and thinking like, there was something wrong with my skin tone because companies don't make products light enough for me. It took me a long time to get comfortable with my fair skin and actually embrace it and love it. I actually prefer to be pale now rather than being self-tanned. So if you guys want to see a Taylor Talks video about like loving your skin or how, I don't know, something like that, then let me know down below because it's something that I'm passionate about and I think that it really did influence the way I view myself and my self-confidence and things like that. Anyways, that was a little deep. So if you have fair skin or pale skin, I feel you. It is literally horrible trying to find makeup that actually matches your skin tone. So I hope this is helpful for you paper white ladies like myself. When finding good foundations for fair skin, I want something that matches my neck but is not going to make me look like fucking Casper. You also have to be careful with products that oxidize which means it changes color throughout the day and turns a little bit darker because it is no longer going to match your neck. So what I've been using is these two foundations. Maybelline Superstay is my all-time favorite drugstore foundation. If they made this in a light enough shade I would only use this on my face every day, um, but because it's not light enough, I mix it in with the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation, and this is in the shade L42. A few people are commenting saying that this shade was discontinued. If it is discontinued, you can also use the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. That is also super pale, and you can mix that in with any foundation, and it gives you a little bit more coverage. So the thing I like about mixing these two foundations is for my skin, which is normal combination at the moment. I love the finish of the Maybelline Superstay. This one is definitely a mattifying foundation. It is too matte for my personal liking. So when you mix these two together, you get the perfect formula. What's also great about mixing foundations for fair skin is that you have control over how dark or how light it is. So depending on your skin tone, you can add a little bit more of the lighter shade, whatever floats your boat. If you've watched any of my Get Ready With Me's or foundation videos, which will all be linked down below, then you've probably seen me use the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless, Age, Sim, whoa. Simply Ageless Concealer in a Jar, and this is in the shade 205. This is the lightest shade they make, obviously. I feel like I don't even need to state that anymore. Since concealers are usually lighter than foundation, it hasn't been that difficult to find a good light concealer for me, but I am very picky with the formula of concealers. This one doesn't crease, which is always a plus. They don't sell this in the store anymore, which is awful, 
but there's eBay. I get this off of eBay now. I just buy it in bulk. I have like four in my drawer and I go through these pretty quick since I do use it every single day. Both of these products I discovered within the last week and I am completely, completely obsessed with them and they have been a lifesaver. If you have fair skin, you know that finding a powder is probably harder than finding a good light foundation just because powders tend to oxidize. On my face, when I put a powder on to set my foundation, it usually darkens the foundation. So even if the foundation matches my neck, when I put a powder on it usually completely changes the color. I don't like translucent powders because it doesn't give me the desired coverage, so I found these two powders. The first one is the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Telc Free Powder in translucent. And this is actually a correcting powder, which means that it's supposed to cancel out the red tones in your face. Um, I actually use this to set my foundation because it is super, super light. If you saw my February Raves and Rejects video, this bad boy was in there. You've got some different colors going on there. What I like to do is just swirl it with my brush and there you get the perfect shade. What I love about this powder is the way that it goes on. It gives you a flawless finish, doesn't look too powdery sets everything nicely. Because it is a correcting powder, it doesn't have oil controlling properties, so I find that I do have to like touch up every five hours when I use this, but I don't care because I'd rather have a powder light enough for my skin. So this has been an absolute lifesaver. To set in your under eye concealer, I always use a powder because I like my under eye area to be a little bit lighter than the rest of my face and give that kind of highlighted look. I do like a powder that is lighter than my foundation powder. So for that, I discovered Manic Panic's Virgin Pressed Powder, and this is a completely, completely, that side's better, white face powder. There you go. So if you are even paler than I am, then you could probably use this all over your face. It isn't a, like, translucent white, it is full-on white. I don't know how it took me this long to discover Manic Panic and their light shades, because where have I been all my life? I don't know. I ordered some more of their products, so let me know if you guys want like a first impressions when those come in the mail. Super excited about this though because now my under eye area is actually possible to be lighter than my face. What a concept. I got the Manic Panic powder off of Amazon. You can also get it off of the website. It just turned out to be cheaper on Amazon since I bought way too much stuff and got free shipping. This does not look very good. Okay. So that is what I've been using every day since I got those products. This combo has just been working super well for me, and I hope it helped you guys. So if this video is helpful for you, and you want to see more products for fair skin people, then click the thumbs up button so I know. Comment down below if you have pale skin and you have other products that you recommend, because always on the lookout. Thanks for watching. Stay pale. Own it. See you guys in my next video. Today we're going to be pale, we're going to embrace it, yeah. Was that a good pump up? I'd be a horrible sports coach. Amazing.